but I also ended up being everywhere. <laughs> it was all, the best PR a girl could ask for. Hello, Aliyah Harris is our guest this morning on Callum Connect's micro podcast. Aliyah is the founder and CEO of Flourish Marketing, where she helps empire building entrepreneurs and business leaders create radically authentic messaging and copywriting that transform them from leaders to legends. A hurdle I have faced as an entrepreneur was going into an industry and as a new business owner during the beginning of the pandemic and having the industry completely shut down. When I first started my company, Flourish Marketing, I catered only to the wedding catering and events industry. And as you already know, weddings and events and public gatherings were completely closed at the, um, the mid spring point of 2020. So what did I do? I leaned into the thought of what abundance really means and the process of giving and receiving. Clearly, I was not positioned to be on the receiving end. So I flipped to the other side and started giving. I gave education. I gave free consultations. I gave of my time, my talent, sometimes of my treasure, just so my audience could feel supported during what was a very difficult time. Not only did I find emotional solace in the fact that I was able to still use my skills to give to an audience that really needed it, but I also ended up being everywhere. (laughs) It was the best PR a girl could ask for. When you're out there giving freely of yourself and you're hitting a pain point or a problem that people have, then when they do have the resources, they come right back around. And that is exactly what happened in this situation. As the industry recovered and as I began to branch out into other industries, now we work not just in the wedding, catering and events industry, but with anybody who is looking to differentiate themselves in the market, as I started moving and grooving and shaking and finding my way, people circled back. In September of 2020, I gave myself the gift of an S Corp and really put my, my stake in the sand that I was going to do this after what was a really tumultuous year of, of still making it work, but it being very difficult. With that decision and because of all of the work that I had put in to give, I was able to start receiving. Within five months, we hit six figures and we doubled after that and again after that. And I was very blessed to continue that cycle of abundance, that cycle of giving and receiving. I know sometimes it looks bleak, but if you are in a cycle where you are noticing that you are not receiving like you would like to be, I encourage you to flip on the other side of the abundance cycle and begin to give. How can you help others? How can you solve pain points? How can you get out there and be seen as the helpful expert that you are? are in order to take advantage of the full seasonality ups and downs of the entrepreneur cycle. When you're in a season that doesn't feel so hot, always remember that it's just a season and that it is coming to an end soon. If you're in a season of receiving, congratulations. If you're in a season of giving, congratulations. And I wish you all the abundance that is coming your way very very soon. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc. 